and we've just had a little bit of a scare because when we started the engine um, off the starter motor it just wouldn't go <sighs> Beverly and I are hoping to buy a chart because what I currently have of this area is a disgrace well we came to Ardfern because this is uh, reported to be the West's best stock best stocked Chandler in Scotland I don't know what I did to my arm yesterday but I did something to it I think probably did too much so Beverly and I are doing a rest and recuperation day but do you know what if you're gonna have a rest up somewhere what well, I don't think I could have found a more tranquil spot anyway Beverly and I are going from Tavelich today which is inside Loch Sween very very picturesque little place and we're going to go to Ardfern which is up here and the reason we're going to Ardfern is apparently it has got a very very good Chandler and apart from this map my other map to have of the area is this which as you can see is not very good so a chart is definitely one of the things I'll be needing to buy well we've been on the mooring now for two nights and we've just had a little bit of a scare because when we started the engine um, off the starter motor it just wouldn't go now we know what the fault is it's our own fault we'd left the ignition on which was obviously discharging the starter engine mark train but it's just one of those extra things that's going to have to go on our checklist make sure the starter make sure that the ignition is off and what was our solution for solving it our solution was a couple of jump leads uh, off the uh, house batteries which were still in good nick because obviously we've updated the house batteries Well, this is Ardfern, an amazingly sleepy little um, harbour, um, which has apparently got the best chandlers, but unfortunately they do not have enough space for Salty Lass. So um, we are currently at the um, fuel dock. So what we've done is we filled up with water We'll fill up with fuel tomorrow, um, but we're going to go out to the mooring now um, and then we'll um, sort ourselves out uh, for tomorrow. But um, that's what we're going to do. But um, I'm hoping I'll be able to show you the heron that I'm currently looking at because it looks absolutely beautiful. That's great. Lady. glorious place I think somebody didn't pay the bills here well we came to Ardfern because this is uh, reported to be the West's best stock best stocked Chandler in Scotland but I think to give you an idea as to why it's called that Look at all these cabinets of screws. Oh, I see. 
and they've got them all mapped out as to what type of screws they are. Okay, so at the Chandler's we bought a chart um, of the area that we're hoping to explore. We've bought a copy of the Clyde Cruising Club. Basically, this is like having your own local knowledge and is highly important. I bought some netting, a spare LED bulb, a very good terminal block, single blocks, and we've got some nylon um, uh, rope, which we are going to be using um, basically as um, makeshift um, snubbers for when there's another blow, because there's bound to be one of those at one point or other. Well, we've only been two and a half weeks away from Liverpool and we've learnt such a lot already. We certainly aren't really ready to unshackle the hooks completely yet. Um, purely because uh, Beverly wants to produce videos and her laptop is out of charge. So she needs to get uh, that charged up. Um, I need to continue as a freelancer so that we can actually afford this lifestyle because I love the view from my office window now. Um, you can't complain about the view from the office window, but I actually need to have an office <laughs> and I need power for that. So we need to sort out our inverter and there's a few other things that we need to sort out before we can really get ourselves going uh, in our new lives. What are we having to do to get electric, Bev? <laughs> Apparently these boxes here have an electrical fault and you have to move three electrical boxes further down the pump too. So we're just going to take the boat and put it along on ropes. Yeah, but you know, if you want an easy life, don't go cruising. <laughs> Once we had our pilotage and charts, it was time to head north. First, we had to pass through the notorious Doris Moor. We were able to time our passage to go through at slack water, which made it considerably easier for us. Oh yes, I can see the eddies that they were going on about. There's definitely more eddies just there. Yeah. Boats going the other way also took advantage of the slack period. Oh, look at that. That looks absolutely beautiful. So that's uh, Corrie Vecchin. Is that the right word, Bev? Corrie Vecchin, the big world for Yeah, Bev and I are not going down that. We might uh, venture where uh, other cruisers fear to tread, but we're not that daft. You really cannot take leave Beverly alone on deck for five minutes. I came downstairs to make some um, food and uh, I've just about made it and already we've got a bit of a lean and uh, I suspect somebody will be turning the engine off pretty soon. Oh, and there she goes. Yeah, Bev's turned the engine off. Or will do at least in a minute. Is. We'll have to look it up later, but it looks like an old monastery or castle or something. Well, this is the approach to Oban, and we're having a great argument over what voyages were and what mark is what. The online chart and the pilotage guide 
all have slightly different updates on them. Also, we can see uh, marks um, better, which are further on, than the ones that are closer to us. So, it's a real... Maths is being used a lot. And just to add to the flavour of the day, there is a car ferry moving around up there. And we're waiting to see which way he goes because there's two ways around the island. Well, here's Oban. And look at all the boats and I can smell wood smoke. I hope it's not on board here. Beverly and I are currently in Oban Marina. And we're going to be exploring Oban tomorrow. But um, we were coming um, down on the um, radio and we radioed uh, in to say that we were coming in, so salty lass. But it was in the um, bar and apparently it did not come across as salty lass. An L was dropped. <laughs> so, oh, it raised a few giggles, let's put it that way. <laughs> so, yeah, so <clears throat> anyway, we are salty lass. No dropping of L's, please.